damage and things like this. Once you have Moonfall, Diana can help lock them in place. Gora can blow them up. Same can be said for Jace as well, up there towards the top side. And this is a lot of priority, potentially, for Nongshim in their lanes that uh, Peanut will be able to utilize in order to get himself to that level 6 as quickly as possible. Looking at the nameplate, I think you can see some fireworks up on top side. I absolutely agree. If Rich wanted to get any champion, it is 100% the Jace. So, you know, results-based never... analysis says that actually it's good. I was I was never on the on the Renekton A train, and I also feel like as uh, no, Ooh. that's a nice sidestep. Oh, Ooh, rock it up! I was close. Is that almost hooked onto an orb? Pale Cascade from uh, Pina comes on in there. There's the flash forward. That's a really, really dead Lucian. As Rascal comes through, grabs himself a first blood. And what, were we, what were we saying about the Renekton again? Trading quite well. Like you were saying, Ruler is going to teleport in here. Nongshim. I've got Shelly down to half health as Clid is going to pick it up. Say thanks to the leash for the moment. Q going to miss from Peanut. Scatter the week now on cooldown. This could be a big deal. It's all five members here for Nongshim as Life looking for the wrap around. Chains of Corruption come through as Life gets right into the front line. I mean, Peanut tried to do it, but it just did not work. The Moonfall just does nothing right now as the culling comes on through. And it is going to be the Herald picked up by Ruler of all people. And I absolutely know why, because he's taken that to the bottom lane and he's taken all of that money. I'm taking the plates as another kill also goes over to Rascal. Okay. Yeah, it's not uh, worth I've it. Never put that uh, on. It's okay. Rascal's in trouble now. Is Rich going to get sliced, diced, and then gets himself an assist? That's a teleport, as Rich does have Flash, might have to use it, but Ruler's just looking for, for that kill. Flash does come through, True Shot Barrage gonna be avoided, as Rich going to be able to get behind his minions, and Ruler's not gonna be able to get it even with his Flash. But um, yeah, I think you're right. I think that um, we're getting towards the Nongshim window, which is a little bit frightening. As uh, we're gonna check this one out, this is from a long time ago. As Peanut picks up his first kill of the game. Alright, back at that. Ah, it's <laughs> <laughs> is going to go back home, collect himself a minion wave. As Gori, he's moving back. You can see that control ward to the north. A possibility here is True Shot Barrage will scope out the Lucian, and there's the teleport immediately. As Ruler almost with his backup as well, as now Rascal looks, in, looks for the stun, but actually doesn't need to use it just yet. There's the slice, but doesn't have the dice. There's the culling. And uh, BDD will say goodbye. Clid gonna pick up that kill. That's a nice bluff from Rich, because if uh, Rascal actually answers that all in, you might be in deep trouble. Well, a lot of vision here coming down as Genji looking for their window. Some orbs on the ground, which is scary. Peanut gonna lock down the Drake. It's only the second, not a huge deal, but now a potential fight is Rascal already below half health. Here's the dive from Genji. The door is fantastic, blocking the Trueshot Barrage as the culling goes entirely wide. As now Rich trying to get over the wall, but it's not going to work. Peanut's already dead. And now Nongshim are completely scattered, but... Uh, I don't know if it's going to be enough. Teleport coming through from Rich here as well. Yeah, Gauri going to be standing on a ward here, as you can see. Life just trying to play goalie. See what he can actually stop. As I expect Gen.G to try and do a bit of a turn here, but they've got the Baron down very low. Have smite. Let's see whether they commit to it as Nongshim looking to try and come on through. That is going to be the smite used by Clid as in goes life. I don't know whether an engage is exactly what they want as Kellen takes a lot of damage despite the door. But it is going to be life just sacrificing himself for the good of the Baron. Peanut. Yeah, looking for a possible flank play. He has his Zonya's now complete. Going to be much more durable in these instances. It's okay. There's a bit of a face check, but. Peanut now surrounded by three people. Does use the Zonyas, but immediately the knock-up from Quid. Love that. The Audacious Charge will finish off the Diana, and unfortunately for Nongshim, this push will continue. Scatter the Week from BDD. He is playing so far up. But now, I'm starting to think that maybe we're wrong. As uh, Rich, not going to get stunned up just yet. As Quid looking for his opportunity. Kellen likely to go down, but does have a stopwatch life. Tries to flash away, but isn't going to be able to. As Ruler locks down that first kill. The scatter onto two is beautiful, but Peanut has the Zonyas. Sorry, going to throw out the ultimate, but it doesn't do too much. Moonfall also afterwards. Peanut flashes, and he's going to be able to get out to relative safety. It's a one-for-one one in the end. Both of the supports going down. But Genji now with 
Now Gen G grouped up as four. We do have Clid in the mid lane, and Nongshim thinking about this as their opportunity. Chains of Corruption will connect. There's now Life looking to try and turn it around. Clid not going to find the win becomes Lightning, but Gen G are going to get inside track on this inhibitor pretty comfortably. Like even if no fight occurs, Gen G still win, right? Because they're in your yeah, base, good. destroying your stuff. Nongshim, okay, looking for the uh, the ultimate from Ken uh, from Kellen. And they are going to be able to find life. But Genji still pushing forward. Glacial Fissure is what I was looking for. Can't believe I completely forgot. This is its somewhat baffling. And I want to point out again why Genji is playing this way slow. Because we've seen Genji close out these games in, in seconds, right? Once they get leads this big. This is literally so oh, big as they go in. Go flash forward from Clid. Does throw down the ultimate as they break open the base in all three lanes. Now just looking to back away by the looks of things. Yep, they got what they wanted. There's the culling. Rascal just moves on forward and blocks it. Double stopwatches come on through as Peanut does have to flash away, but Clid is still going to die. Genji answer back. They're just not going to as now Nongshim piling on forward. The flash out from BDD, but it does absolutely nothing in Genji. Where was the response? It just wasn't there. Aaron getting started. I think. Nope, no, never mind. Oh, well, now it is. There we go. As I don't know how many uh, blue trinkets that Gen G have available. Now they're going to close on in. This is going down extraordinarily fast. That's it. As, yep, it's just going to be bursted. Yes. There are two blue trinkets there, but it's not going to work out. Unbreakable, not even necessary, as it's a bit wide on the True Shot Barrage. As Peanut getting poked down, over goes live, looks for Rich, but he has a stopwatch. Can he survive afterwards is the question. The answer is going to be no, but now the entire culling eaten by Rascal, cleared in trouble as the GA is going to go down for both the jungler and the top laner of Gen G, but they haven't lost anyone. And there is now no Rich and no inhibitor turrets at all. Protect this wave. Need to try and keep it alive as long as you can, but the wave clear is so good from Nongshin, and if you can't get this wave alive, you're pushing. You wanna? I, I'd say you wanna respond. Yeah, yeah I'd say yeah. the response would be uh, Teleport to come through here as uh, Nongshim. They're committing. They're gonna be able to take this inhibitor. Dr. Arm gonna take half of his health bar there from Ruler. Let's see whether uh, Gen G have a team fight in them. As Peanut gonna get stunned, the flank is beautiful from BDD! And he takes out the Diana, she's so important for this team composition as now Gen G looking to close on in. Dr. Arm limping away from this one. Whipping on Lightning does not land, but the Mystic Shots do. And Gori cannot okay. escape. It's a triple kill from Ruler as BDD dives on top of Rich. And he is not going anywhere. The Shock Blast misses. Sonya's has to be used here as the rest of the team comes on through and BDD is still going to actually flash out of the way of this one. You may as well, you better be safe than sorry as Ruler has decided that he's done with this game and Genji will finally, at 43 minutes, end game one. What a nail biter, Atlas. Woo! And everyone that's like, oh, oh, oh no, these two teams are nothing. That's... Yep, that's an example of a poke composition and uh, what they're able to do, but unfortunately, not able to actually make it stick, make it count in this particular game. And it's a reason why they held on for so long. As you can see, like something went wrong there for Gen G. Atlas hit me. Um, Gori just diving in face first. Let's try and get that damage down with the distortion. I like Nongshim's composition. Genji's though looks extremely Genji. Which, if you don't put this Kokomo Lulu behind in lane, yes, a female skills nicely, but into this comp specifically, I don't think. Yeah, with Pryo, come pick this one up. Pina uh, should get out of there. Yep, play going to get rid of the shield as Genji also removed the vision. So Pina, unfortunately, not going to get much uh, return for his time investment. Now you're six. One up. You see that? Oh, they are all rotating, but this is slow. Yeah, it's really I would late. have very much liked uh, Ruler and Life to just stay in that bottom lane. Grab yourself two up. plates yeah. and then not worry about it. But uh, I guess uh, I guess we're flipping it. Yeah, well, BDD looking for his options. Still can shift some sands to get on over there. As they dive on in, there's the Emperor's Divide onto two. Moonfall not actually going to catch them out. As cleared, he's going to get exhausted, gets the heal, flashes away, good play as well. On to Gori as Rich and Rascal are fighting off to the other side of this one. As Ruler with his shocker is just going to eat through Nongshim. Now Kellen is just going to be dessert and Ruler picks up that kill. So yes, be nice. you, 
We'll see whether that is going to be the case. Half expecting it to be an ocean, though. Uh, Peanut now possibly in trouble as BDD not going to find the Emperor's Divide. However, it's going to be here to try and buy them some space. But the steal comes through, and now Nongshima closing in. Gori able to get out of there as he is going to get pulled back and immediately explodes. Now Peanut going to safeguard his way out as Rascal is chasing after him. That's the stun as Ruler looks for the Moonlight Vigil and finds it. And there it is. The last Q is going to secure the kill. So yes, they you better flash. Now I've got another exchange up here towards the top side. Peanut going to find the kick, but he's going to get hooked back. Good wild growth is going to come through, but he's thrown around like a ragdoll. Is now Rich in trouble. The Moonlight Vigil comes down and really just says goodbye, Mr. Jace. Oh no, now Clint possibly in trouble, but he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna try and go in and die on his own terms, and he does indeed do that. So we've just got fighting absolutely everywhere. The Q is gonna miss onto BDD. Does just haven't been feeling it recently, but let's let's show these kids how yeah, it's really I think done. Yeah, I think there's a lot of our veteran AD carries really saying, these young whippersnappers, let's put them in their place. As, uh, yeah, Rich, not a young whippersnapper actually, but uh, Ruler is still gonna be happy to put him in his place. And then this is, of course, uh, from a deficit, right? You have uh, less people available here. And here you see the value. Barrett Doglam actually really nicely able to use that ultimate, or the Guild Force, rather, very offensive. I don't blame him. He's this got a couple of flashes for them as well. This is looking like the classic BGD. Oh, Clint. Yeah, chains are going to connect. Now we're trying to turn oh! it live. The God play comes through, and immediately both LeBlancs disintegrate. Ooh, very close to Gory getting there. As, okay, Genji say, all right, well, you know. Oh, the hook! Life once again! Peanut's going to flash. He does get wild growth, though, so it's a lot of resources invested. As Doc Dom trying to chase after them. He's very fast with this Lulu providing the speed as the chains are going to take the crocodile for a walk. As Genji, quite low. The shock blast actually starting to stick now. And if you have just tuned in, remind that again, if Genji win this game, if they win 2-0, they get a buy. That is a complete skip of the first round of playoffs. A basic guarantee for them as Rascal... This could be big as Rascal's going to get stunned up and taken down! Oh no, he wanted to be able to take the Lantern, but doesn't manage to. And now Peanut is going to get soul point for Nongshim. Genji still with a slight advantage, but it is starting to slip. We've reached the Nongshim territory. But here it is. Vision cleared. Genji once again getting themselves into position. I like this. Baron immediately just going to get started up here. Ruler does so much damage to it. Peanut lands the Q. Can he get the steal on the Baron is going to be the question as he does get in there. It's actually taken by Ruler as now Peanut trying to keep himself alive. The Gore Drinker is massive. He stays alive for so long as Gori tries to get in there, but it doesn't work. There's the Empress Divide. Just picks up the Ruler. Sorry, the Lulu as Rich is going to get taken down as well. And that's the Gen G team fight that we wanted to see is now Doctan's getting teleported on. The sad little bee himself, the epitomization of it as he tries to kite out the crocodile, but he's sliced and diced, and the Lantern says no to the passive. Now Genji looking to push up the mid lane, and this is the big turning point. I don't know if they can actually just straight up win, but maybe oh, they'll go for know. it. They might. It's 30 seconds to dunk them. I don't know if they have enough power. Baron buff is available as well. If they can keep the wave alive, I think they could just end. Yep, they can tank this Gen one G. up. This is ridiculous. Genji will be second place no way. at the end of it all. They could have been sixth. If this would have gone a different way, they could have been six, but the Nexus is going to get focused down. Ruler will be able to do it in the end. And it has been the uprising of our veteran 80 carries today. Really saying no to the younger gentlemen that have tried to challenge them all season long. Start Huge. hugging each other. I you got to love it. Clint said, I didn't do 